On today's episode of Relationship Chronicles, this man is going viral on social media for sharing a story involving a lady he was in a relationship with who refused to buy him food for $20, saying it will put her in a masculine energy. Just watch the video. What's up, y'all? Quick story time. So a young lady that I had dealings with, or dating, was dating, whatever you want to categorize it as, was coming over to the crib, right? And so I was feeling a little hungry. So I asked her, I was like, hey, can you, you know, grab me food? I'm, I'm hungry and I don't want to leave the crib. She said, oh, sure. If you pay for it, I'll pick it up. Hmm. So then I asked, wait, do I have to pay for it in order for you to bring me food? She said, yes, because if I pay for it, it puts me in my masculine energy. Wait, so we've been dating for a little while and you can't bring me food? $20? Unless I pay for it? And to me, don't get it wrong, I was not mad at all. She still came over. I, I went and got my own food and everything. But it did make me look at her different. Because to me, that's a character flaw. Because if you only have the capacity to do something for me under the condition that it's reciprocated or that like I pay for it, that means it's not genuine, it's not in your heart. And to me, that doesn't work because I'm the opposite. I hold those doors for you on those dates because it's in my heart. I pay for everything when you're with me because it's on my heart. I book your plane ticket because it's in my heart. I am not one to keep score. And so if you can't bring somebody that you've been talking to dating a $20 meal because that puts you in your masculine, major red flag. And then I post about it on my Instagram story. And one young lady was like, well, I would have done the same thing if we're not exclusive. Exclusive? Baby, we're talking about a $20 meal. I didn't ask you to go to the grocery store, <laughs> cook, fill out my refrigerator. I asked if you could bring me food. Because we ain't got to be exclusive for me to pay for your nails, huh? We ain't got to be exclusive for me to hold all of these doors and bring you flowers. But we got to be exclusive for you to bring me a $20 meal. It's sad, man. And I think that's why we have the dating problems and trouble we have now. Because nobody is moving just genuinely. Everybody is keeping score. And this attitude that, like, I'm not doing X, Y, and Z if he's not doing this for me or she's not doing this for me. And unfortunately, I just don't move like that. I've never had. If you are hungry and I have it, you are fed. Simple. Whether I like you or not. Now, if I like you, it's a bonus. But it's in my heart to be this way. But I would love to hear y'all thoughts on the situation as ladies. Is she justified? Is she right? Fellas, what y'all think? So two things. I think she didn't have the $20 and didn't want to be embarrassed. Or she just don't fuck with bro. Because I don't understand how spending $20 on food for a man you're in a relationship with masculine. Everything just feels so transactional nowadays. The mistake he made was still entertaining her once he recognized a severe character flaw. He should have said no problem. Let's stop here. Blocked her without any further communication. This really highlights the complexities of modern relationships where financial justice can accidentally become gendered or misinterpreted. However, it is crucial to address underlying issues of respect and reciprocity rather than reducing relationships to financial transactions. It is also really important to notice any warning signs early in a relationship. Even small disagreements can show big differences in how people see things. Catching these differences early can help avoid bigger problems later on. But hey, who cares what I gotta say? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.